So this is the question. A lap joint is used to connect two flat plates of width 200 mm. So this flat plate is having a width of 200 mm. So this is the width, we know that. So this is the width. This flat plate is having a width of 200 mm that is given in the question. And then it is having a thickness of 12 mm. So thickness is perpendicular to the board. So that those are the given details in this first lines of the question. And this, these two plates are connected by using a lap joint that is mentioned in the beginning itself. And the pattern of bolting is chain pattern. Okay, chain pattern bolts having a bolt hole of 18 mm. Okay, so the, this bolt only by having a die of 18 mm and for M16 bolts. So in M is nothing but metric size 16. Okay, 16 mm bolts. So we know that for a 16 mm size, 16 mm die of bolts, the die of the hole is bolt hole is plus 2, 2 meter, 2 millimeter extra clearance. So that is 18 mm that is given in the question as shown in the figure. The FU means yield stress. Yield stress is 250 MPa and ultimate angle strength is 410. And gamma M0. So gamma M0 we have to use when material is yielding or buckling. Okay, and gamma M1 is used when material is collapsing or rupturing. Clear. So determine tensile strength of a plate based on draw section yielding and net section rupture. So he is asking us to find the tensile strength of this connection or for this plate. So if you remember, when when we are discussing bolted connection, there I have not explained the design tensile strength of plate yes or no so there we have discussed only design shear strength of bolt and design bearing strength of bolt and plate and then design tensile strength of bolt if exist but there i have not explained the design tensile strength of plate yes or no so there i told you in design of tension member i am going to explain clear or not so of course previously we have discussed that now i am going to show you the diagram uh, problem how to uh, calculate the design tensile strength of a plate. Agree or not? So now he is asking us to calculate the design tensile strength of plate based on cross section yielding and next section rupture. Agree? So design tensile strength. So first, so first is cross section yielding. So cross section yielding. So what is the design tensile strength in cross section yielding TDG? So it is AG into FY by 1.1. Agree or not? So now what is AG? Gross area. So gross area is nothing but width into thickness simple. So 200 into 12 into 250 by 1.1. So how much this is? So use can see for the calculation of it. Okay. So it comes out to be, so it comes out to be 545.45 kilo newton. Agree. So this is the design tensile strength of this plate based on cross section yielding. Next. The second is net section rupture. So what is the design tensile strength in net section of TDL for plate? So it is 0 0.9 FU by 1.25 into AN. Agree or not? How to calculate AN for plate? So we have to take the critical section. What is the critical section here? First line of board is always critical section. We have discussed it n number of times when I am explaining the bolted connection. So when we are discussing the bolted connection, there I have clearly explained why the first line of bolt is always critical for plate? Agree or not? Set the first line. How many bolt holes are there? Three. So now A and net area in this case is B. So then B is 200 minus 3 into die of the bolt hole. How much it is 18 into 12? Agree or not? So calculate how much it is in it. So use calcium for this calculation. So 200 minus 3 into 18, it is 54. So it is 146, 146 into 12. How much? 1752. 1752. Mm square. This is in it. 
So after calculating in it, we have to substitute the data in this formula for calculating the design tensile strength of plate in next section rupture. Okay. So now TDM is equal to 0.9 into FU. FU is how much? We know that ultimate tensile strength 410 by 1.25 into 1752. So come on, calculate it. So you can see. So it is 0.9 into 410 into 1752 by 1.25 that is a partial factor of safety. So it comes out to be 517.19 kilo newton. So this is the design tensile strength in gross section yielding and this is the design tensile strength in next section rupture. So out of these two, whichever is minimum that we have to consider. So now 545.45 and 517.19, whichever is minimum. So this is minimum. So based on this, which is the design tensile strength of that plate? 517.19. So this is the design. So TD. So here I'm going to write TD. So TD is 517.19 kilo Newton. So this is the design tensile strength of this plate. So actually if he is asking to find design strength of a connection then first we have to find design tensile, design shear strength of board and then design bearing strength of plate and board and then design tensile strength of plate. So out of these three whichever is minimum that is considered as a design strength of the connection. But in this question he is asking us to find design tensile strength of plate. So design tensile strength of plate means we have to take three criteria. So what are those three criteria? Design strength in gross section yielding and then design strength in uh, net section rupture means tensile strength in next section rupture and design tensile strength in block shear. But here why they have not considered block shear? Any guess? So why we have not considered block, block shear? So generally block shear is not a regular kind of failure. So that is the important thing here. You should remember that block shear is not a regular kind of failure. So block shear failure occurs if and only if we are going to use high tension or high strength materials like high strength um, um, steel material and high strength boards. So if we use high strength material then only block shear failure will occur. So why block shear failure will occur only in high strength material? See if we use high strength board then number of boards for that connection will be reduced or not? And that to the length of connection can also be reduced. Yes or no? So upon reducing the number of boards and length of the connection block shear failure will occur. So block shear failure is not a regular kind of failure. It occurs only if we use high strength materials like high strength boards and high strength material, steel material. Okay, so then only we have to go for that. Or else simply go for these two criteria. So once I repeat, for calculating the design strength of a connection, we have to use three criteria. What are those three criteria? Design shear strength of board and design bearing strength of bolt and plate and design strength of plate. So in this design tensile strength of plate there exist again three criteria. What are those? Cross section yielding, net section rupture and block shear. So we need to consider block shear in all the cases. Block shear can be used only in one case that is whenever we are going to use high strength material or if it is mentioned in the question. So if in the given question it is mentioned that then only we should use block shear failure criteria for calculating the design tensile strength in block shear. Okay, so make a note and write down that point. So I am going to love this question. First you take down this uh, solution. After that make a note and write down when block shear failure will occur. So you simply remember that if at all in a given question nothing is mentioned then no need to consider block shear. But if it is mentioned then we have to consider block shear. Agree? So in this it is clearly mentioned. So block shear is not mentioned. So no need to consider. Agree? So first you take this question and after that make a note and write on when block shear failure will occur. So usually go with these two criteria. What is that? Gross section yielding and next section rupture. Okay? So block shear failure can be observed. Okay, block shear failure can be observed only in high strength materials only in high strength material that is high strength bolts bolts and high strength structural steel
okay so if we use high strength bolts and high strength structures still then only block shear failure will occur unless it will not occur agree so that is the thing clear okay so just check it down so after that we will solve the next numerical